Good Tuesday afternoon, folks. Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis here. It's September 24, 2024, and PTC 9 has now become Tropical Storm Helene, the eighth named storm of the 2024 hurricane season. Here's how it presents on satellite imagery, a little bit better organized than when we visited this last night. It was asymmetrical and lopsided with wind shear coming in out of the west to southwest. That wind shear has let up a little bit, so now we're starting to see convection or thunderstorm activity fill in on the western side of the storm. As it becomes more symmetrical, it'll be better able to take advantage of the overall very favorable environment that it's currently sitting in. A lot of the wind shear has come down because what was bringing the wind shear was Hurricane John that made landfall in South Mexico as a major hurricane late last night. Now it is just kind of falling apart. So now that it's not as strong, the wind shear being imparted on uh, Helene right now is not as strong as it was yesterday. So Helene will likely continue to strengthen and intensify as it builds to the north. It is over some record warm sea surface temperature waters in the western and northwestern Caribbean. And not only is it warm water, but it's deep warm water, meaning there is plenty of fuel here. And as it builds to the north, it does build over a loop current that builds into the southern Gulf of Mexico. So an endless supply of warm ocean water should help it intensify to a major hurricane ahead of landfall in Florida by the time we get to Thursday night. Here's the intensity estimate sustained winds with Helene going forward. Right now we're sitting at 45 mile per hour winds. Minimal grade tropical storm at this time, but ramping on up to hurricane status by Wednesday by tomorrow afternoon and then 115 max sustained winds puts it at a category three major storm by Thursday evening ahead of landfall. So here we are at a hurricane status by tomorrow morning. 75 mile per hour winds building to the north, picking up forward speed. It's wind field expanding. And by the time we get to Thursday night, Big Bend area still looks to be a, a pretty good focal point for a landfall of a major hurricane Helene by Thursday evening around sunset. It builds inland through south and central Georgia, rapidly falls apart. But with a, such a large wind field, we'll likely be looking at a very large power outage event in the southeastern parts of the United States gets tugged to the north and west with a big area of low pressure sitting over the middle parts of the country and that will also rapidly dissipate it. Check out the wind field predictions here from our in house model. Now this is interesting. We talked about this last night. If the center of Helene does move over land, in this case, the northern tip of the Yucatan near Cancun, that land interaction would stunt its intensification process. So that is a good thing. However, at this time, it will bring increasing impacts to Cancun, Cozumel area, but it does stunt its intensification. This is just one model. The official Hurricane Center forecast does keep it over open water, the Yucatan Channel between Cuba and the Yucatan. Keeping it over warm water would mean it would have a longer time to intensify and get stronger. After it has that land interaction, potentially it builds north and it's got nothing but open warm waters of the Gulf ahead of landfall with a building wind field. You see here by Thursday night ahead of landfall in the Big Bend, we could be looking at a large swath of category three wind gusts or wind sustained speeds of up 115 or even higher than that. And then it builds inland and that large wind field will dissipate, but cause a lot of issues in South Georgia and the panhandle of Florida. Elsewhere in the basin, we've got another tropical wave way out here that will likely become Isaac. 40% chance in the next two days, 80% chance within the next seven. Models do keep that well out into the open Atlantic. So we've gone through Helene. We've still got a whole bunch more names here. Isaac, Joyce, and Kirk would be the next three that are up. We'll continue to watch that, obviously, if things do get active. But that's the latest on this afternoon's update. I'll be back later this evening for a broader update on the uh, state of the tropics and Helene. Until then, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. We'll see you later on.